Mm. Yes, just what you should bring to filming. Yep. Cottage cheese. It's better than if I was eating an omelet. But not better than if you were not eating anything. You're disgusting. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Axel Corbett. I'm healthy. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you, everybody, sports mm. on Patreon. Follow us on our official Twitter account, subscribe, and hit that like button, you little shits. Gross. Uh, not because of what you just ate, just your face in general. Yeah. Welcome back to Classic Month. Hard to handle so much greatness. Oh, I handle it every day. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to Classic Month. Uh, Stupid babies. And uh, today we're doing a very old film. There we go. No, oh, I thought you were going to do something. Yeah, no. uh, the 1965 Tamil film. I remember it well. Thiruvil uh, Eyadal. Yep. Sounds right to me. Uh, directed by A.P. Nagarajan. Written by him as well. Um, uh, composed by K.V. Mahadevan. Mahadevan. And starring um, a, 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 a bunch of Pre people. Predominantly Shivaji Ganesan and Sabitri. Shavi, and then yeah. obviously a whole bunch of other people as well. But it's a big... Um, how to exactly describe it is Hindu mythology style um film based off of a uh read that uh yeah it's it's a, it's a collection on, based on Parajyoti Munavar's epic Thiruvallur del Puranam which is which is my understanding is it's 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 Hindu mythology it's 64 different stories and four of those stories are depicted in this um the this is what it was described as um it translates to the divine play. It's said that Lord Shiva, out of his love for his devotees, tests and plays with them. Yes. And there are 64 such stories where he takes human form and performs the play. This movie is a compilation of a few such stories. Actor um, Shiviji Jenzevan, superstar's father in Padiapaya, um, plays the Lord Shiva. So that's who that He's is. He's in Padiapa? That's his father. Rasha Khan's dad who, de oh, who died. Oh, wow. Um, uh, just, just sorry, where was I? Wow. Uh, Lord uh, Padiapa plays the lead role of Lord Shiva and actress Shavitri, who you've watched her play the lead role in Maya Bazaar, plays the role of goddess uh, Parvati. Parvati, yeah. And the movie is an um, all-time favorite for many. Um, stuff like that. So, um, obviously it came out in 1965, so this would be 100% spoiler review. Um, so if you haven't watched it, there's many different versions. Uh, we saw a, a pretty good version, not a great, um, like how Maya Bazaar was in terms of, yeah, no, it, it was restored. Um, I think they should do that. Um, I think they absolutely, <laughs> and I don't know how much of it they can, cause there yeah. are some moments where I think the original is just degraded yeah, yeah, so yeah. much that there's not much that can it wasn't be done. bad but it wasn't the best either right uh in terms of uh the the, the quality of the picture uh, but there's a subtitled version and then there's also other non-subtitled versions on yeah. youtube and many yeah. other places you can go check those out but rick your initial thoughts well i and subtitling on it was it's one of those subtitle ones where sometimes it's flying by too fast yeah yeah, um, yeah. i don't know if one of the translations was accurate because at the beginning of the film he yeah. said i feel groovy <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know that that's the original Tamil translation from the 16th century texts. I'm not sure that Shiva there's felt the, groovy. There's probably an old word for groovy. Yeah, back probably. In the day, probably. Back in the day. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> that's funny. But uh, so the the film's a lot like algebra for me. So it's a required course in order for you to get your diploma to say you've learned what you need to know and it's an important thing for you and i feel that way in terms of if you want to understand indian cinema particularly tamil cinema this is something that you have to do but also like algebra for me it's 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 not something that was i i didn't 
I wasn't fully engaged. There's a lot of it I didn't get, and it's not something I would revisit. So for a classic, for me, my subjective own thing, I appreciate a lot of the technical merits of it oh, that yeah, we'll talk yeah. about. That's that's for sure. But on the whole, it it was something that I I I'm glad I saw in light of the fact that I I feel like you have to see it to have an understanding of Tamil cinema. But mm. it's not it's not something I would I would revisit. Mm. Um, yeah, I I enjoyed I enjoyed it not for like in the in the same way that I enjoy other classics because it felt so different. Yeah, because it felt like I was watching almost a play, like a, in different acts of a play. Obviously, because it's based off of so that makes sense. Obviously. Right, right. Because it, it's the way it's set up is there's this big broad thing that happened with um, um, I believe it was Lord Shiva and his his wife and their kids who and are, the mango. Who are, I think the fruit. Yeah, who are Ram and. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Ram and, and Ganesh, um, uh, I believe was the other one. Um, at least that's what I gather. Because I've seen a little more of like the mythology kind of things than you have. Right. Like that um, um, the thing last year with Prabhas and right. the, the anime that I watched. And so I've seen a little bit more of of that. But these were all new stories. These weren't what, what I watched. So, but the characters. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the four stories were not something. No, no, seen. no. This is not this is not something in there. But the characters, I believe, were some of the same characters. Um, so it was super interesting <laughs> to watch each different part. And there were elements. There's no way I got all of it because you know, I'm not connected to these to these gods or these these stories because I didn't grow up with them. Right. And so a lot of the people that I'm sure watched this were like, oh, this is the story that I've heard right. for, for the long time. Then right. I'm seeing it on screen. Right. Um, and so, no, I did not get all of that. But it was it was super cool um, seeing all these different things, especially some of the technical sides. Yeah, the technical um, aspects of uh, production of design. Production design, uh, some of the stuff that they did for 1965 in Tamil cinema <laughs> was really fun and cool. Yeah, some um, was fun and cool, and some of it was yeah. good grief. That's putrid. Yeah. yeah. Um, but And then some of the old school uh, style comedy that was involved. Uh, was... I did like some of the comedic things, particularly in the poem section, the poetry guy, mm -hmm. and then the fight on the beach with the shark story. Yes. That, yes. Was, that was fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I liked um, that a lot. Yeah. And then the singer guy, when everybody was coming out and it was like very vaudevillian. Yeah. Uh, some of the, some of the comedy there. Um, Even the sound yeah. <laughs> was very vaudevillian. And so like, Keystone I enjoyed Cops. it in those little, in those, in those parts uh, of just like, I was like marveling kind of like at this captured in time moment of, of cinema. Uh, and it's not like the same way I could enjoy like what we saw earlier this year in like Shri uh, 420, which is obviously more of a um, familiar format right. of storytelling right. uh, for for us. Yeah, um, this is this is not even almost like set up like a movie. It's set up like you know these stories. We're showing you them on screen. Yeah, it's f set up far more like the best thing I could give as an example. If you're familiar with this in any way, is 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 Japan's Kabuki theater. It's very stylized theater. You yeah. don't you don't apply to this the the same criteria you do for cinema, not just today, but even for back in the nineteen sixties. Yeah. It's very much a a um a play yeah. put on screen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even how they obviously that was heavily the style back in the and, yeah, I, and, and I've a, noticed and a kind of play. Yeah. 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 And especially for when playing these gods or these deities and the way they played them. Correct. And how they're like the Right. The, so and they're even talking like this, and they're, they're very, very play like. <laughs> yeah, and I, I also understand, having read a couple of things about the about the film, that there's there was some great appreciation in the day to the not just the language itself, but the way the actors spoke the language, and it rang true to what people know about the text. Yeah. Again, things we could yeah, never no, no, begin to comprehend. Um, but uh, first and foremost, the music. And we have reacted to many songs. Yeah, I was, I was. Oh, Man, I've seen this one. Oh, I've seen this one. Just as incredible as when we reacted to them, like especially that that Tamil old Tamil woman. Her song is just. Yeah, the vocals. Man. Yeah, vocals on that are incredible. A lot of the songs <laughs> he are says just that to her. Doesn't he say that to her at one point toward the end? He just says flat out to her, "Old Tamil woman." Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Once again, yeah. subtitles. Who knows? What yeah, the exactly. Maybe that's what the translation may have is. been. That, but um, but like the songs in this are incredible. Um, I loved them just as much as I did when we reacted to them. Yeah, I enjoyed they're, the they're seeing showstoppers, them again. man. Um, and a, there, a lot of this film is song as well. There's a lot of songs in this. 
Um, another aspect that you just notice immediately is, and we noticed on the songs, was the the set design. Yeah, it's old school set design, which yeah. is so fun to just marvel at because it's one, it it's for the day. Oh man, was it incredible? Yeah, but obviously now it's not at today's standards by any stretch. No, it's just cool to see that because it's. I love old school sets. I've said it many times just because it's so endearing. Mm -hmm. I know this is a set, but it's really pretty. Right. <laughs> it's and extremely you're, pretty. And it does it's funny because you don't you like your suspension of disbelief isn't altered because you just you accept it yeah. as it is. Even even something like again, the shark sequence where they <laughs> when they go the from without hesitation, the edits go from we are in. We are on a real beach yeah. during the day. Now we're on a set at night, night. and now we're going it's from windy and stormy on the, um, right. on the ocean. And from one frame, clear. he's carrying her from a rock with real ocean behind her, and then the next, they're on a set that looks nothing like where they were. It, but yeah. it, it is. But it's endearing. It was that was such a fun sequence. To and watch, hey, though. who would have thought this was? This was ten only ten years before Jaws. The shark. I, <laughs> Was this 10 years before Jaws? Yeah, it was only 10 years before Jaws. But in, uh, in terms of the how, shark, I know it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, in terms of cinema, though, India is usually about, especially at this time, this would have been our 50s, I think. Um, like how, how, <laughs> right, right, how right. it transcribes. Technologically, in terms of technologically. Right. This would have been more our 50s, yeah, I yeah, think. Probably. Um, in that. Even in, earlier, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but because uh, so you, but I know some of those things are just so endearing and so fun. I enjoyed that shark sequence so much because yeah, it was, it was pretty just funny, fun to watch. Yeah, and um, because it, it's it, and there's if you watch Jaws, it's comedic actually. A lot of times that shark in, in Jaws, if you watch back in the day, it wasn't back in the so no, funny. People are scared, man, terrified. I, I might have been the that, same way with this. I saw that movie with my dad, and I thought that was a real shark. And now you watch it today and you go, hmm, yeah, that's a robotic shark. Big, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, so maybe even back in the day, they, they would have been like that. Um, and then there was just some stuff um, comedy wise that was that was <laughs> funny. Some yeah. of the comedy obviously didn't land. Uh, but then there was other comedy that was like that's like really vaudevillian shtickish kind of yeah. uh, three stooges at times. And some of the messaging didn't land. Some of the messaging messaging was mm. yeah uh, uh, I, it's might have been all part of the the text and so that's stuff that i can't really comment on at exactly all. <laughs> so it's um that i just leave that as like okay that's what 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 we're going well with here. and you can't not you have to like you have to depict it the way it's said yeah. the way it's said it yeah. so you just it is what it is yeah, yeah. um like we're not familiar with any of the the old school text or these I, the only thing we know about a lot of these gods are from film as well um, if we've seen any, we have seen some of them, but, um, the other thing that was, I know is kind of, um, daring about the film is that in the day. So it's my understanding that up until, oh, the 1930s, I think, uh, 1940s, mm. I think it was the 1940s where until that point, about 70% of, uh, Indian cinema was grounded in these mythology stories. Yeah. It was it was mythological filmmaking. And then they changed to more societal and contemporary stories. So it had, it had been like 20 years before somebody really attempted to do a mainstream film that was a hearkening back to the myth. myth and apparently that was a huge, really appreciated thing by the masses at the time. It was a, a critical success because yeah. people loved the fact that it was a pulling back to stuff that came from the origins of Indian cinema. Again, yeah. that's part of why... It's like someone would say, "Would you recommend watching this film?" My feeling would be, "Well, that depends on what you're what you're wanting, yeah, and when what you like." It's like if you if you want to understand Indian cinemas, especially Tamil cinema, yeah. you kind of have to watch the film, yeah. L the way <laughs> again, my algebra and, and there's connection some notorious, for me. Like, and some people love algebra, That's and there's some stuff in it that obviously I think is very notable uh, for films, especially if you can get a really good copy. Like if we could have got like a Mir, uh, Maya Bazaar copy that we got sure. and the sets would have been even more grand and the, the costuming even more grand and the songs even more grand. Um, and but yeah, I can still appreciate a lot of those things, uh, even with um, it was a good copy, not a great copy. Right. Yeah, it was it wasn't uh, a distractingly bad copy. No, We've had that. No, um, but it wasn't like 
what we've seen before in some right. of these other styles. Yeah, films. Maya Bazaar was so, just yeah. we got a great copy of that. Yeah. They should they should do a restoration of some of these um big uh classics. Well, and Mughali Azam yeah, was thing. beautiful. Yeah, but yeah. that's been restored. I don't know if they've I, d done this one at all. I don't know if again, not distracting. Uh but and and the biggest shout out, like if there's anything, if I'm giving it the biggest praise, it's it's the combination of the set and production design. Oh, yeah. Songs, and, obviously. and the I guess three things. The use of visual effects for the day. <laughs> that was some of them were so fun. Yeah. Some of them were really, really good, and yeah. some were really, really just hokey. But uh, for the time. For the it's time. Not, it's not you can't. I can't tell you what was hokey for exactly. Back then. I don't think any of it probably was hokey. No, back and, in 1965 <clears throat> in Tamil. And the other thing, which we don't, we we can't be critics of. I just know this by having read the stuff. Was the combination of it being pretty groundbreaking to be a throwback to the style of yeah. filmmaking when everything was societal at the time, as well as the integrity to the text. Apparently, people who yeah. know the epics say that the text and the script is. For many of them, they said it was like poetry on the ears yeah. to hear the text brought to life yeah, like this. Yeah, if you're Tamil, if you're Hindu, and you've grown up with these stories. It's got to be I'm sure huge, it's, it's sheer something heart. that was yeah. um, uh, really near and dear, and I can totally understand that. Um, and I get it. The, yeah, the some of the technological stuff, because we didn't fully go into that. <laughs> when, just like, when it was happening, I was like, oh, my God, no way. <laughs> like when he, uh, I don't know what it was coming out of his mouth. The, the fire flame that comes out of him yeah, and goes I, to Parvati. Yeah, it, it supposed to be a fire flame? I, yeah, because he turns her to ash <coughs> when they're having the fight, the spears. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it, it starts with he does the cobra mm -hmm. and then she does the hawk. Yeah. And then he gets mad. <laughs> I love the hawk. I love the hawk. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think it was, it's interesting because he 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 did burn her up, but he didn't burn her up the same way he burned up the 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 poetry critic mm -hmm. yeah. uh which which is probably what a lot of artists appreciate about this film the most is the <laughs> fact that the actor completely incinerates the critic gotta love it um but yeah that thing coming out of his mouth yeah, and yeah. then hitting her and multiple other times I, I thought it was actually very good vfx when they um multiplied that singer and we I, we had seen the we song. had seen that that was really well but done. for 1965 for like i you saw no like division no that that's not that was not easy back in 1965 same with do. the split screen of he, he and she mm -hmm. toward at the very very end that split screen was pretty flawless and there was a bunch of other things of stuff that they did um in many different aspects that i thought was just for 1965 in tamil cinema it was it felt groundbreaking um, yeah. And what they were doing. Yeah. And I was like, in 1965, this would probably have been really cool. Yeah. To see one, the stories that you've grown up with uh, on the big screen, but then also have these cool visual effects elements. Yeah. Um, and same thing with like with the sets. I like seeing, even though it's nowhere near today's standard, because it was what? Oh. 65 years ago? No, no, no. 50. No, 60. No. We're in 19, 2023. Yeah, but I was born in 69 and I'm 54. And that's only four years pre me, so it's fifty eight. Oh really? Yeah, fifty eight years. Because I'm I'm it's four years older than me, and I'm fifty four. I was born in sixty. You're not a hundred? No, oh, not cool. yet. Getting wow. there day by day. Either way, six, almost sixty years. Yeah, almost sixty years old. Um, that's old for film. Yeah. <laughs> um, especially for for Indian cinema, and especially for Tamil, Tamil cinema. cinema. Yeah. Um, yeah. To do those kind of visual effect things when that was not the common thing for Indian cinema yeah, uh, to try those new things uh, is fun and endearing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad I watched it. It was, it was, it was <laughs> a very different experience from a normal style classic that we've yeah. seen many times. Very play like, like if you took it right off the stage and it almost, I don't know if, how much would change uh, in it. Um, the only thing that would change would be how you can do some of the visual effects, yeah, yeah. but and that's the other thing too is is it, you can see how much it mattered to everybody yeah. to do what they were doing and and try to just really stretch i mean it's so you know comparatively because technology has advanced so much yeah. but i don't i don't view this as any less herculean an attempt at filmmaking as say cameron trying to do avatar oh, yeah. because it was really pushing the boundaries of what was a 
what you could actually accomplish at the time. Absolutely. It was really doing the most you possibly could. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's that. Let us know what you think about the film, if you like it, if you didn't like it, what your thoughts on it are, uh, and what should be our next Tamil classic. Uh, we have so many to get to, yeah, obviously. Um, but uh, let us know what the next Tamil classic we should get to is down below. <laughs>